Hi friends, some DMZ news and advice for you today for the upcoming Season 2 in Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. So let's take a look at the changes and what you'll want to do before Season 2 drops. The main thing you need to know is that there's going to be a seasonal refresh for DMZ happening as soon as Season 2 goes live, and that'll introduce new faction missions. However, that seasonal refresh means you'll lose any faction mission progress and all of your inventory including contraband and keys. And that essentially means you'll need to start all the way from the beginning in DMZ when season 2 starts. And for those of you wondering, yes this does include your insured weapon slot as well, as you can see in this post from Charlie Intel. Not only that, you will lose your second insurance slot if you earned it through the season as well, so you'll have to re-earn that when season 2 starts again. It's not uncommon for survival games to do this, Escape from Tarkov famously does it kind of every 6 months or so. The slight issue with COD here in DMZ is that they never actually told us this was going to happen, so no one's really prepared for it. Anyways, the best thing you can do in Nantes anticipation for this is essentially just use everything you've earned so far. Use all the keys you've got, if you've got building 21 keys, then just keep going in there as many times as you can, because you're going to lose it when season 2 starts anyway. Also make use of your contraband, because it doesn't really matter if you die and lose them, you might as well try and get as much as you can in season 1. There are a few other DMZ changes coming as well. There's a new location coming, so there'll be three options in DMZ, including building 21 and the current map. They're also changing enemy difficulty for Season 2, which is kind of much needed because AI in some areas of DMZ, or a lot of areas, were extremely hard to fight, and it just seemed really unbalanced. What they're going to nerf is the AI accuracy at range, and also having greater variation in difficulty, so it's challenging, but they say it's not going to be as hard. They're also tweaking some of the spawn points, they're also nerfing the difficulty of faction missions to make the difficulty progression a little bit easier. Now I know some of you aren't super excited at losing all your progress, but this is kind kind of part of many survival games. In reality, Call of Duty really should have told us at the beginning, but maybe they just didn't realise they were going to do it. The main positive is that there's going to be a new map, and it seems like the experience could be slightly better in terms of AI and spawning for DMZ Season 2. So keep a lookout, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.